Incognito is uh, the story about the struggle to find who you are with and without your memory and to understand other people with and without their memory. Um, we follow the story of Thomas Harvey who steals Einstein's brain to try and understand more about Einstein and what Einstein does um, and why he was so smart. We follow the story of patient HM who is um, a famous neurological case study who had surgery to relieve his epilepti epileptic seizures and in return has amnesia and so he can't remember who he is. Uh, other than who he was before the surgery. And then we follow a modern day neuroscientist who um, is dealing with her own midlife crisis. Um, some themes explored by my character, sort of, um, she's at a crossroads in her life uh, and she's trying new things. She's just had a messy divorce um, and she's trying to sort of rediscover herself, rediscover her passion for her profession and for her personal life. Ooh, so I think Henry as an individual embodies like this, uh, this idea of um, is it better to live in the moment and to always take things in little like minute long chunks and just keep like trying to make it through those minutes or are we then denying ourselves the ability to like think ahead and you know worry and also like dream about the future um maybe that's too deep i don't know he's quite deep. he might just have memory loss harvey goes from being about middle age maybe in his 30s to growing old um so that's been a bit of a change that i've had to kind of work through uh, uh in the process of rehearsing for this getting in touch with that age um, and he's not a very nice person so trying to build uh, a 3D character from someone who I don't particularly get on has been interesting but um, it's been real fun. We've had quite a lot of um, like specific direction because of where we are on the stage um, so we've had to like show closeness and intimacy of like different ways than you normally would I think. Yeah like the relationship the way it's represented, it changes a lot. Like the play starts with Henry and Margaret in silhouette. So like for that, it's very kind of like straight on, you know, with, with, with it's all with the voices. There's mm. almost nothing in like how we look and how we're acting. And you never see much of that between us mm. because not to like, I'm not gonna go into huge detail, mm -hmm. but like basically so much of this is so foggy. Um, and like you, you, the stage represents that and representing a relationship, it's like, it's taken a while, like we've gotten, we spent oh, just an obnoxious amount of time together. Like, it's... That's supposed to mean? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been, no. Like we've got, we've gotten like, uh, like as we got off script and as we spent time together, like we've got, you know, we've got all closer like on stage, yeah. there's a lot more interaction between us and then we've also like, got closer off stage. Like, yeah. I think this play really suits the student audience because students are inquisitive. We want to learn everything we can, it's why we're still students. And this play really explores not only um, how our memories function and how we learn new things, but also it really opens your eyes to how people change with and without their memory and how different people deal with different situations. Yeah, nothing's bad. <laughs> <laughs>